as we've indicated already to the market, we will be drilling that property up to understand exactly what the phosphate horizon is there. So that really advances our program. It allows us to get quickly into 43101 at PEA. Talking phosphate here today with First Phosphate and John, the guys out of Quebec, and exciting times as phosphate has been added to the critical and strategic mineral list in Quebec, Canada. So John, what does that mean for First Phosphate going forward? Yeah, it's great. You know, um, everyone complains about politicians, but this time we're, we're quite happy. We think the politicians have, have made the right move. We think they've listened to the people. We think that they've listened to the companies. And, you know, we're quite excited uh, for, for this great move by the Quebec government. We really compliment it. Obviously, it's easy to compliment it when the min mineral that you wanted was put on the list. But if you look at what they did and what they're signaling with the uh, with the elements that they added to the list, it's, 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 it's super. Like they're signaling that they really want to get strong into green energy, uh, renewables, and um, also into into battery, which all goes hand in hand. So very strong, strong message from the Quebec government to you know the rest of North America and to the rest of the world that Quebec wants to be a, a really big powerhouse and a really big uh, generator of this uh, new green movement. And they have everything to do it. And they're just they're such on the, they're so on the right track. So we compliment them. And like you said, everyone is, of course, happy if your uh, material gets added to the list. But perhaps you can surely explain what this critical and strategic mineral list is actually means in practice for a mining company like yours. Yeah, so look, I mean, as we know, it's debatable. There's over 100 elements out there, um, and the ones that make it onto the list are the ones that are most critical. Quebec had 22 on their list, and now they went from 22 to 28, so they added six. It's important uh, for a company like ours that's mining. We mine, uh, you know, first and foremost, uh, Appetite, which is uh, the host mineral for phosphate. So that was added to the list. So 80% of what we will be mining is now part of the list. Uh, they've also added high purity iron to the list. You know, 10% of what we mine is magnetite iron and um, titanium is already on the list. That's the other 10%. So that's three minerals, the three um, full minerals that we mine, the primary one being appetite and the two secondary ones being iron and, and titanium, which we have to separate in order to purify the, the phosphate are also on the list. So we're, we're completely 100% of the critical minerals. So that, that really aligns us with, with, uh, with the goals of, of the Quebec government, of the Canadian government. And, and what that does is, you know, it, it does open you up to more, um, uh, like what they call in French, les subventions, which is a subsidy or grants, um, which is important, but obviously we don't want to be a company that's just you know based on that. But what it what it what it does is it aligns us with the whole uh, economic mission of Quebec. So you know you get support also from from their institutions, from investors, and it's a strong signal that you know you're going in the same direction as the government, right? So it's always good to be uh, have the government uh, wins in your sales, and so that that's 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 what we have. Well, good news for investors going forward in the 2024. And uh, John, quick outlook: what's actually in store for us the next 12 months? Yeah, so I think the the next uh, 12 months of first phosphate are very explosive, and the reason I say explosive, as you saw, we're coming off an $8.2 million raise. We wrote for $2 million. We raised $8.2 million instead. Uh, we thank all the investors that really put their, their credence in us. And now what that allows us to do is that at our property that's Beijing La Marche, we're able to really drill that deposit that we know is a three kilometer strike all the way. You know, with $5 million this uh, spring and summer, as we've indicated already to the market, we will be drilling that property up to understand exactly what the phosphate horizon is there. So that really advances our program. It allows us to get quickly into 43101 at PEA, detailed drilling, and eventually into, into a feasibility study. So that, that's where we're going to be focused. We're going to be focused on, on seeing what's, what's under the ground there at Beijing La Marche on this three kilometer strike on surface. We already know it's there. We've already drilled uh, 4,200 meters. We're doing a little bit more prospection around to understand the outer limits of it. Also, we're waiting for our first samples of uh, purified phosphoric acid that we've made together with our, our partner in Preon, uh, which should be here in, in the next uh, few weeks to a month. And, uh, you know, we continue with our plans to build a purified phosphoric acid plant at the port of Saguenay. And uh, you, we continue along with, uh, you know, building out our team and really, really getting uh, into, um, you know, the, the next stage of transformation. We announced a three-partite MOU uh, just yesterday with uh, uh, Integral's Power that makes LFP CAM and with American Battery Factory that needs, you know, 20 gigawatt hours of LFP CAM. That's about a billion dollars of LFP CAM by 2028. So advancing the whole uh, supply chain for LFP in North America, being at the bleeding edge of all of this, from strategic minerals all the way to the completed uh, cells for, for LFP batteries. Of course, we can't do it all on our own, but with the best partners out there.